It took just two hours to make over 201K with this AI generated TikTok. Guys, it's literally never been easier to make money with content, especially with the TikTok Shop affiliate program. All you really need to do is find a product on TikTok Shop, use some AI tools to create the video, and then have a basic understanding of video editing. In this video, I'll be going through that whole process. No gatekeeping, no fluff. Let's get into it. And if you guys are new here, my name is Dominicus. I run multi million dollar e commerce brands, and today we're going to help you make some million to right now right here let's go so this guy right here get back gaming has made over 200k in just the last 30 days using these ai videos here one video drove 150k in sales 23k here 18k from just a few videos the tool that i'm using here to get all of this data is called Calo data make sure you guys use my link down below to get a seven day free trial so that i can afford baby wipes this month let's check out this video here if your breath starts to stink just a few hours after you brush your teeth then you need to start oil pulling the reason your breath still stinks is because there is still bacteria in your mouth that your toothbrush alone can't reach and that's where the oil pulling kit from Guru Nanda comes in. Not only will you get a highly effective oral rinse that gets in every crack and crevice of your mouth, but you will also get a tongue scraper to remove that nasty white bacteria off the surface of your tongue. Most people don't use a tongue scraper, and that is where your breath can differ. Plus, after one week of use, you will start to notice your teeth getting whiter from the oral solution. I went ahead and linked the oil pulling kit by Guru Nanda below available for purchase on the TikTok shop right now. Stop the wait and fix your breath today. As you see a super simple AI video using real footage and some AI shots right here. And this guy's posting a bunch you see on here. He's able to create these videos super easy. 17 million on this one. This is the one that probably drove him that 200K in sales. And you're gonna see, I'm gonna break down exactly how to make these videos here. It's super simple. That's why this guy can post so many different videos. This product here has already sold 1.5 million units. This is a top seller on TikTok shop right now. The one piece of advice I would give to you guys is to look for products that are a little bit smaller that have less sales because this guy probably could have gotten a lot more sales if this product wasn't seen by all of TikTok yet because chances are a lot of people have already seen it and have bought it from somebody else. On my winning products video, this is exactly what I talked about where I said find products that are under $50 and that also have a higher commission around 20 to 30%. This product has a 10% affiliate commission. So our boy right here walked away with a nice 20 G's for posting one video. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's get a piece of that action. First, you want to find a product. I have a way more in-depth video about this. So make sure you watch that after this video. But in a nutshell, Shell, we're gonna be scrolling TikTok shop and looking for products in our niche. So we're on the shop right here. You can see under the recommended for you, there's already a bunch of products that I've been looking at that I've been scrolling. So as you scroll on here and click items, it'll actually recommend products for you. It's giving me a lot of male types of products that I can sell because that's the stuff that I was clicking on. But if you're just starting out with, honestly, you can just scroll through these top recommended niches right here, like home and kitchen, beauty and personal care. These are all really good ones to start out with. And you'll see after a little bit of clicking around, you'll actually get products that are more suited towards you. Like if you're a guy, you're probably not going to want to do like lash extensions or something like that. So find a product that resembles with you and that you can actually see yourself making videos about. In this case, since we are doing AI, it doesn't really matter. I also like to use this spy tool. So we're going to go on here. We're going to click on products and we can either filter it by seven days or by 30 days to get a little bit more of a broad view on products that have been selling for a longer time. We're going to click on category and I'm going to scroll down to the niche that I'm looking for. So I'm going to go to health, food supplements, wellness supplements, and click apply here, submit. And it's going to show me all the stuff inside of that niche. More importantly, what I'm looking for here is creative ideas. So winning hooks, winning scripts that we can then take for our own videos. So I'm on the product that we talked about earlier, and I'm just going to scroll down to videos right here. And as you see, uh, there's that AI video that we were talking about earlier, this one right here. There's a bunch of other ones. And really all we want to do is just look at these videos and see what these guys are doing for their hooks, what talking points they're talking about, so we can get a better idea for creating scripts. Once we find the videos, we're actually just going to click on the video and click download right here. You can also use snap tick so you just paste your link inside of here so we can click on the video here and find the TikTok video link and paste it inside of snap tick to download it now once we have the video downloaded I actually want to extract 
the script from the video. I know there's a few ways to do it, but I'm lazy as shit. So I'm using this website called Wizard AI. This makes it super easy. All I do is I just take my video and I drag it inside of here, click next, and it's gonna go ahead and take the script from that video for me. Now we have our script here, so you can just highlight it. Uh, for some reason, this website doesn't let you copy it. It makes you like sign up to it. So what I like to do, little hack right here for you guys at home. If you have a Mac, it's shift command four and you can grab a screenshot of the script right here. I double click it and then now I can actually go and copy this whole script right here. I'm using command C, I copy it. Now we're going inside of chat GPT. Now, once we're inside of chat GPT, it's, it's like high school, you know, we're taking our, uh, our friend's homework and we're just rewriting it a little bit, okay? We don't gotta reinvent the wheel, folks. All we're gonna do is put this prompt, rewrite this script for me, but change it, and then we're gonna paste that script we have in there. So as you see, it wrote a script, struggling with mental fog, the missing ingredient in your diet might be lion's mane mushroom, known for its impressive impact on brain health. Okay, so this is not bad. Let's say I want one that's maybe a little bit more simplified. I'll make, uh, I put make the language more simple so a teenager can understand it. And then it gave me another, um, another version. So I'll be like, give me another version. So just do this a few times until you find the actual, you know, structure that you like. What I actually like to do myself is take all like the hooks that I got from ChatGPT and then I write them out in individual sentences here on my notes pad. Uh, for the body, that's just like the middle of the script. You know, I put some talking points and then my call to action at the end. So I separate it all out into here and then I'll just make like different variations of the script depending on the videos that I want to do. Now that we have the script, we're gonna jump inside of Eleven Labs, which is our AI voice generation software. As you see, I picked this Natasha Valley girl. I think what a lot of people are doing is they're using Adam, which is like that stereotypical AI voice, but I think it's kind of overplayed. I like to use different voices, just, um, I don't know, maybe I'm just being paranoid. Maybe it's better that people hear that same AI voice on every single video. But you know, I'm weird, man, I'm weird, man. I like to try new shit. So we're gonna go with this Valley Girl voice right here. As you see, I have my script for the uh, for the settings. I honestly just like to kind of play around with these sometimes depending on where, where I want it to hit. Sometimes I just set it to default. For this purpose, I guess we're just gonna put it to default here and we're gonna go ahead and generate the voice here. I have my whole script that I just pasted inside. And what I like to do is I actually like to generate the script multiple times because you're gonna see you have different variations. You have brain fog because you're not eating this. This is the lion's mane mushroom. So I, I actually like this one a lot because you said you have brain fog because you're not eating this versus if I generate it another time. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this actually right here because I like this hook a lot. Let's try generating it again and you'll see what I'm talking about. You have brain fog because you're not eating this. This is the lion's. So you see that one just the tonality wasn't as good. Now this is something that not a lot of people do. People just throw in their scripts click generate and that's it. That's the voiceover they're doing. But I'm telling you, if you guys take that extra step to actually make multiple variations of this script, you're gonna have way, way better voiceovers, okay? Now, what you can even do is like, let's say you want a particular part of the sentence and it's just not coming out how you like it to come out. What you can do is you can take that particular part and then just have it generate that. So for example, let's say I wanna do just this sentence right here. Vegans say it tastes great, but I don't believe them. So I take my lion's mane and a gummy. Let's generate. Vegans say it tastes great, but I don't believe them. So I take my lion's mane in a gummy. Okay, that's not bad. Let's try regenerating it one more time, see what we can get. Vegans say it tastes great, but I don't believe them. So I take my lion's mane in a gummy. Okay, that's kind of whatever. Let's add an exclamation point. Sometimes I see adding an exclamation point makes it even better. Vegans say it tastes great, but I don't believe them. So I take my lion's mane in a gummy. But I don't believe them. It's kind of sassy, got a little bitchiness to it. You know what I'm saying? I love that. So. Like I said, you kind of want to play around with it. You, you can, uh, honestly, the best thing is probably just taking individual pieces of the sentence and putting them in. You can experiment with both, but this is what I've seen works the best with Eleven Labs. Now, finally, what we want to do is actually generate some AI images. So I'm using ChatGPT here. You can also use MidJourney. Both of them are really good. And really just pay attention to this prompt. Um, what I'm using is create a 3D ultra realistic lion's mane mushroom growing in a forest. Dimensions nine by 16. So really all you need to make sure you have is create a 3D ultra realistic, okay? And then for this middle part right here, that's where you would put in whatever you want it to generate. For example, I have this image here. I'm gonna download this. And what I actually like to do is take bits and pieces of my script and then make images depending on what was said in the script. So this one, you have brain fog because you're not eating this. So what I did was create a 3D ultra realistic man suffering from brain fog, nine by 16. 
okay, this is great. I actually really like how this came out. So I'm going to go ahead and download this. And literally how we did the 11 labs where we made multiple variations of it, I'm going to do the same thing and then just uh, regenerate this so it gives me a few more options of it. And for the next part of the script, you know, it has serious effects on your brain. So I put create a realistic lion's mane mushroom growing from the brain. For some reason, it put these black borders on there, but I'm gonna download this photo anyways, cause we can always scale it up in the editing software to make sure to fill the uh, frame. Now let's edit the video. And here I'm using Premiere. This is what I use to edit all my videos. If you guys are looking for a free alternative, CapCut is great. They have a desktop version, a phone version. InShot is also really well. I like using that on my phone. I'm gonna give you guys the fundamentals on here so you can use them for whichever apps you want to use. Now I suggest mixing your videos with real life footage and AI footage. I've seen the videos that have the best results use this type of format, but if you don't have the product in hand and you just strictly wanna make AI videos, that's fine too. For this video, I'm using some of the footage that I shot for my super mushroom gummy called Quantum. It's got lion's mane, reishi, cordyceps, all that good stuff. I'm gonna be giving you guys all the raw footage that I used here, so if you want it, go to my Discord, 100% free. I'm also giving a 20% commission, way higher than what most people are giving, so you can actually make some good money on TikTok shop. Or if you wanna promote something else, all good. Just order it on TikTok shop. As you see, I have my script down here, and I have like all the different cuts and variations of it, like just how I was talking about the clips are overlapping one another you know, they're cut. So this is probably like four or five different scripts that I took here and then I just cut them all together. Okay, and then I added some music, you know, that uh, that stereotypical TikTok soundtrack. Let me see if I can play it here. Yeah, you guys know that one. So just keeping it really simple, man. It, the, there's really there's really no point in overcomplicating it. For my shot selection, what I like to do is I like to cut like every one to two seconds. So if you're strictly just using AI clips, make sure you have like, I'd say maybe 15 or 20 of them. Um, and what I did here, as you see, I added some transitions, swiping. You know, when I talk about the brain fog, it shows a picture of the guy with the brain fog. You know, then it transitions to showing the mushroom again, right? Serious effects on your brain, it shows the brain growing with that, you know, then, then we showed the uh, the guy studying on there. I try not to do too crazy transitions to where it's like overstimulating, you know, honestly, just like swipes and little turns and slides are really, uh, really good. And as you see here, you know, I'm showing the video, I'm cutting every one to two seconds on here. The aesthetic is basically staying the same. Like I try to pick shots from the same scene. So it's not like one shot is in the dark holding it. And then the next second, it's in the light and the next second it's green and next second it's blue. This is just a little tip for myself. I've seen that, you know, if you can make the video easy to watch and easy to follow along by using colors that are similar or, or uh, places that are simple, like as you see, this is just green grass in the background. This one is just a wall in the background. So that way the product is the main focus of the shot. You know, there's not like a bunch of crazy shit going on in the background. And then at the end, I have a call to action here. I have this like little end screen. You guys don't really don't need to do that. I just do it because I'm running ads on these videos. Next what you want to do is actually go and generate the captions. The captions that I'm using here, I think it's called like basic or something like that on CapCut. If you want the actual font, it's called Proxima Nova Semi Bold. And then what I do is I add a little bit of stroke to it and it looks like I forgot the shadow, but usually I add some shadow to it. So it looks like this. You see, it just makes it a little bit, it just makes it pop a little bit more. Yeah, that looks a lot better. So we're going to go ahead and render this out and get ready to post it. Now you guys have everything you need to start making TikTok shop videos. Make sure you watch a bunch of other content on the page. I have a bunch of other TikTok shop videos. So just, you know, talk me a little bit on here. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram at Dominicus or join the free Discord for all the resources, all the raw footage that I talked about in this video. Every week I'm dropping winning products, talking to you guys, and there's a bunch of other young, hungry entrepreneurs that are interested in TikTok, e-commerce, big booty Latinas, all of that good stuff. Check out these two videos here, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon.